And hello everyone, Owen Azuris here. This week we are concluding our look at the Golden Crone Hotel. Let's see my morgue. Alright, I was killed by a field viper. So, last month we played as humans. Then last week we played as vampires. Now we are going to take a look at the last class. One that has killed me, one that I have turned into before. And that's going to be the werewolf. So this is a shapeshifter. It's the only werewolf I see here listed. So this might be a quick episode. So they start with plus one dexterity, minus ten to hit points. All right, let's see what goes on when we come to, as the werewolf. So here I'm the werewolf. Uh, let's see, menu here. I got my potions. Turn into a werewolf temporarily. You gain the speed and strength of a vampire, but with regeneration, especially in moonlight. Bat potion turn you into a bat temporarily. Your attack is reduced to almost nothing, but you become very fast. I guess that's a good escape method. So I'm thinking everything wants to fight me. But I see I can rest. And also destroy beds. So, so far, let me hit at. Well, let us look at our character. Menu, character sheet. So not much intelligence. Strength is high. And speed's good. Let's rest a little. So I could light this torch if I wanted to. Yeah, why not? Let's get the room nice and lit. So I'm going to heal in the moonlight here. Take this potion. Don't know what it is. Could be Nostrum. Gain healing at the cost of temporary vulnerability to the elements. Can't move. Or a silence potion. Interesting. I don't know if I really want to use that. Let's go on up. Take care of them. So there's that merchant, or a hawker, as the game calls him. Which isn't incorrect. I mean, he is hawking his wares. So morning sun is out. So I'm no longer a werewolf. And now I kind of have a human. So I guess it's kind of like you can cross between a vampire and a human. I can talk to this merchant. But now I got my revolver, I got my heel, and my menu. Okay. So let's keep on going and see what happens. How's this guy's problem? He wants to zoom around. Oh, shoot. And I'm probably going to die here. Ooh, I gained. What? I healed. All right, quick restart, shapeshifter. All right, let's try to take out some more enemies and gain a level before. Yeah, I can stay in this moonlight. Let's try gain a level before I move up and before I lose my werewolf form. Because he seems to be, yeah, getting my hit points back. Got a full moon out tonight. Okay, that seems to be everything here, so I guess we'll go on up. Get another potion. I got lots of potions here. Alright, I got another level. That's exactly what I was going for. So it's currently almost about to be sunrise. And when the sun comes up, my werewolf powers go down, it seems. But it seems like most animals in this game. Okay. 
Now, I wonder if these wolves are still going to like me when... I'm still a werewolf. Okay. Maybe if I hit sunlight, then I lose my werewolf status. So where does this go to? So that's just down? Okay. Don't know if it goes to any particular secret area. Doesn't look like it. this go to a secret area? Oh, it goes up. That would explain why it looks different. And I don't like that organ, so I destroyed it. That is what I do. So it looks like this is going to the grotto. Not sure what's in the grotto. A lot of enemies seem to be in the grotto today. And I'm no longer a werewolf. Take care of that. And there we go again. We're surrounded by multiple enemies. Yes, I know that. Let's see how these characters did. We'll play one more time. Shapeshifter. I had curry noodle soup that I had not identified yet. I can unlock another character. Unlock the scholar. But... Yeah, this negative to hit points does seem to hurt me. I do like what it seems to be increased strength. Okay, I need to get some moonlight pretty bad. I mean, I can rest if I'm... There we go. So Werewolf seems to be a little weaker as far as fighting enemies and stuff, but he seemed to have more options for healing, which is kind of nice. So I got a better revolver. Take this money. Okay. Strength. Now I need to rest. Wait, what happened? Was I poisoned? Well, let's see what happened there. I am not 100% sure. I was killed by poison. Okay. One more time. I did not even realize I was poisoned. And that was completely my fault. Let's kill this guy. Kill that guy. Yeah, completely my fault that I missed I was poisoned. I'm poisoned again. That's a panacea. Of course, now I'm no longer affected by lycanthropy. Okay, the moonlight reinvigorates me. And so I guess sunlight turns me back into a human, and the moonlight will turn me into a werewolf. Interesting to know. Like to spell. Blink is always good in these games. Need to get back some moonlight. Where is the moonlight? Help me see the moonlight. Whoa, that's a lot of vampires. my strength. Out of bullets. So let's try resting. See what's in the box. Okay, so the moon is no longer out. It's midday. So 
that was Unholy Essence. Unholy Aura I got around me. Keep going here. This guy likes to teleport, I've noticed. It's slightly annoying. So now I'm unstable. Go and pick up the master key there. Yeah, and that's gonna kill me. I think I did better that time. Go back to the main menu. Check out my morgue file. 665, almost 666. And more of that curry noodle soup. So yeah, this is going to be a quick episode this week. We just were looking at the werewolves. So now we've looked at all three of the classes on there. We saw the human. Kind of more versatile. Not as strong as a vampire. But they have more options available to them via the magic and their revolver. And they can also rest. The vampire, which is stronger. But really can only heal through blood. And takes lots of damage if you get near the sunlight. And then of course werewolf, which is kind of a hybrid. Uh, it's nice that you can kind of, you know, have some human features and some vampire features, uh, but you can't heal by drinking blood, obviously, and it's kind of annoying that you can't fully control when you're a werewolf and when you aren't. So next week we are going to look at kind of a bizarre game. I've already recorded uh, two episodes of it, and then my initial playthrough of it was actually kind of glitched. It's a highly weird... We can debate if it's a roguelike or not, and it's also highly glitchy, but we're going to find that out next week. Until then, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Remember, subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified whenever I update, if you want. And until next time, I will see you later. Have a good day.